Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this Christmas animation is done in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let me show you how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and here you can see that I have already imported this image. So I will put a link in the description from where you can download this. And also I'm going to use this color palette. Now it's completely up to you, you can pick whatever colors you want and if you want to use this then you can just take a screenshot right now and after that you can import it in After Effects. So after that let's begin by creating a new composition, let's call this main, width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want, just click on ok. Now we are going to create another composition and this one I'm going to call this text and all the things will remain same, just click on ok. Now let's quickly go inside the text comp and I'm going to select the text tool and let's type our text so you can just click and you can type whatever you want. Now I'm going to type Christmas and you can pick whatever font you want. I'm using this corner store JF. After that you can select this and let's make this into the center using the align panel. You can use this align panel by going to windows and from here you can enable it. After that we can select the layer and let's make its anchor point in the center. So for that you can hold down the control key, make sure the layer is selected. And after that you can double click on this pan anchor tool. Now let's select this and I'm going to press S and let's scale this up quite a bit, something like this. So yeah, I think this is looking fine. So once you're done with this, let's go back to the main comp and over here first I'm going to create a new solid for the background and let's just click on OK. Now I'm going to quickly drag my color palette so that we can just have a nice look on the colors. I'm going to just place it over here. Now I'm going to lock this so we don't accidentally move this. After that let's select the solid and on this one we are going to apply gradient ramp. So just search for gradient ramp and let's drag it onto this. After that we can first change the ramp type to radial ramp and let's place this in the middle and let's select this one and let's place it at the outer side something like this after that we can pick the middle color and i'm going to pick this really reddish brown color and outside we are going to pick this one so we are done with our background now let's just quickly add our text something like this and on this one i'm going to apply fill so let's search for fill and let's drag it onto this and I'm going to quickly change its color to something like this. So once you are done with your text, now let's add some highlights to this text to make this really stand out. So in order to do that, we can just simply select the text layer, right click and let's go to layer and let's select the bevel and emboss. And under this, let's select and change couple of the properties. So first I'm going to change both the colors to white and let's increase this opacity to 100%. Now if I zoom in, and let's change the mode to screen as well. Now you can see that we are able to see some really nice highlights over here. And if you want, you can play around with the size. So you can just increase them or just make them however you want. But for this one, I'm going to stick with five. Also, you can add some softness if you want, but let's turn this off. After that, you can play around with the light and you can just simply make them come from whatever angle you want. And if you want to have a close look what you are doing, then you can just simply set this to black. Now you can see that what we are doing. So here you can see we can add some highlight edges, something like this. So once you're done with this, we can just simply set our color back to this normal color. So now we are pretty much done with this. Now let's add some 3D depth to it. So in order to do that, we can again drag the text comp. Now let's drag fill onto this as well. And I'm going to change its color to this color as well. After that we are going to apply a bunch of different effects. So first we are going to apply CC radial blur. So just drag it onto this. And after that let's search for curves. And let's drag it onto this. And on top of this we are going to apply one more effect. But first let's make this into a 3D effect. So first I am going to enable this. So that we are only focusing on this layer. And let's change the radial type from straight to fading zoom. After that we can change the amount so I'm going to just set this to something like negative 30 and let's go under the curves and let's change the channel to alpha. Now let's click in the middle and we can drag this to the very top something like this. 
so here you can see we have some 3d depth and we can really view this by simply changing the color so let me just unsolo this now we can pick the color now let's change the color so i'm going to pick this dark color so right now you can see we have this really nice 3d depth and on top of this we are going to apply one more effect so let's search for fractal noise let's drag it onto this now let's play around with the fractal noise so first i'm going to just zoom in and let's increase the contrast quite a bit so let's pick somewhere around 800 also let's go under the transform and i'm going to uncheck the uniform scaling and we can just increase this up and let's quickly set the complexity to one so that we can just see what we are doing something like this you can play around with the width and height individually and after that we can just quickly go ahead and let's change the blending mode from normal to add also i'm going to lower down the opacity so we can just simply set this to somewhere around 35 or 40 let's set this to 35 now we can play around with the scale of this and here you can see we have added some areas of shadows and highlights so you can play around with this using the evolution and just pick whatever you think looks good so yeah, i think this is looking fine so now we are done with that text and let's quickly add some drop shadow so let's search for drop shadow and let's apply it onto this and after that we can just simply increase the softness something like this so yeah i think this is looking fine so once you're ready with your text we are ready to add some elements to this so first i'm going to drag my image and we can probably get rid of this palette now let's animate this image by pressing s and let's add a keyframe for scaling and let's add a keyframe somewhere to four seconds and in the beginning i'm going to just scale this up so that it's completely out of the frame now we can select both the keyframes press f9 to ease them let's go under the graph and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph not the value graph now we can select the endpoints and let's change the graph to look something like this so if i play back here you can see we have this really nice reveal in the beginning and now we can add some animation to the text as well but first we are going to type our second text so there are two ways in which you can do that you can either go inside this and you can just type mary on top of this and it will have all the effects but what i like to do is i am going to select both of these layers and press ctrl d to duplicate this and let's move them to the top also i'm going to change their color to blue so that we can identify these layers now i'm going to select my text comp and let's press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's select both of these layers and now you can hold on the alt key or option key on mac and then just simply select this text too and you can just drag it onto these two and you can see that it has replaced both the compositions now we can open up text two, and in this we can just change the text to mary and we can play around with this scale if we want this to be smaller so we can just play set something like this now let's go back to the main and now we can select both of these two layers and we can move them to the top something like this now i created these text on separate layers because i want to have more control on this text so i can just simply play around with the look of this one so we can just simply play around with these values and yeah i think this is looking fine perfect so once you're happy with the text we are ready to animate it but first let's select both of them and i'm going to move them little bit below something like this now let's pick a really nice point so somewhere around here now we can select all of these layers and let's press s for scaling let's add keyframes and let's move them ahead somewhere around two seconds and in the beginning i'm going to just set them to zero now we can select the keyframes press f9 and let's go to the graph now we can select the endpoints and let's change the graph to look something like this so if i play back here you can see we have this really nice animation which is looking perfect now we can move them further apart so that we have a animation very smooth something like this so once you are done with this we are ready to add some particles to this so in order to do that let's right click and let's create a new solid and let's call this particles and on this one we are going to apply cc particle system 2 and let's drag it after that we are going to play around with a couple of these settings so first i'm going to change the birth rate to something like 0.1 
and let's change the longevity to something like three now let's go under the producer and i'm going to increase the x radius and y radius something like this and we can probably solo this so that we can see what we are doing so now you can see particles are moving here and there so let's go under the physics and we are going to first change the animation type to fractal explosive and let's set the velocity to something like zero now we are going to change the gravity to something like negative 0.1 so that all the particles will move up something like this now let's quickly change the particles so i'm going to go under the particle and let's change the type to quad polygon so that we have these sort of particles something like this now we can play around with their size so you can make them smaller using these parameters and let's add some opacity so if i play back here you can see we have the particles coming up now if you want the particles to move here and there then you can just simply add little bit of velocity and you can just simply play around with the amount let's set this to 0.2 so yeah, i think this is looking fine so once you're done with this we can just simply change its color so we can just set both of these values to something like red and let's pick one and let's set this to white now we can apply glow to this so let's search for glow and let's drag it over here after that let's increase the glow radius little bit and let's play around with the intensity now i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate the glow and now i'm going to increase the glow radius little bit more and let's play around with the intensity as well now we can select this layer and let's change its mode to add so here you can see we have the particles now we can select them and let's place them below our image so now if i play back here you can see we have some really nice particles and text as well if you want you can place them below the text as well so this is how you can create merry christmas text animation and the best thing is that you can just change the text by going inside this and you can type whatever you want and all the changes will be applied so in this way you can create these kind of animations and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below also the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one